If you want to start creating and selling digital products on Etsy or your own website, this tutorial will walk you through how to create printables in Adobe Illustrator step by step. Hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I provide you with graphic design tips and tutorials and I talk all about creating and selling digital products online. If your goal is to build an online business selling digital products, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I've been using Adobe Illustrator for a long time to provide clients with digital products that they need. I opened an Etsy shop selling printables and today I want to show you how I make them on Illustrator so you can start creating and selling your own products. I created this tutorial as well that walks you through how to create printables in Canva just so you have some options and you can see what platform you're comfortable with. So make sure to check that tutorial out right after this and you can see what's best for you. Okay, let's hop onto my computer and start the tutorial. Okay, I'm on Adobe Illustrator right now. I'm gonna go to File, New, and this window is going to pop up and I can choose what size artboard I want to work with. So I'm gonna leave it at 16 by 20 inch and click on Create. So this is the size of print that I'm creating. Before I get started, I want to create two artboards because I'm actually going to be designing two prints at once so that I can offer it as a set and individually. This is your toolbar over here. Just click on artboard tool and here you'll see a little new artboard icon here and you just drag in a second artboard. Okay, now I want to drag in the graphics that I'm gonna use for these prints. All the graphics I get are from Creative Market, so I'll leave a link for you in the description box so that you can join for free. You get free goodies every Monday, so it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to use the Woodland Friends, again, that I used in the Canva tutorial, but I'm just going to use different graphics. So let's go with the squirrel this time and just click on it and click embed so that it's not linked to that graphic anymore. And to make it larger, make sure to hit Shift as you drag these corners, otherwise it just gets skewed. Okay, and now I'm just going to add the log. And let's make that bigger, embed it. And now to send it to the back, just right click on the image, arrange, send to back. So I'm just going to place the squirrel nicely on this log and let's make this all a bit smaller. So just drag both images and make them smaller. Now I'm gonna use a second package to add some flowers to this image. So let's go to a different package. Again, this is from Creative Market. I will link this as well. Now let's go with this one here, drag it in. And I'm just gonna rotate it. And if I want to flip this over, just right click, transform, reflect, and I want to flip it vertically. Well, let's do that. Okay, so now I want to add some flowers behind the squirrel. So let's go back to that same package and let's use this one here. And then I'm gonna send this again to the back. Okay, so now I want to add some flowers on this side here. So I'm actually going to use the same arrangement. So just click on this and hit Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac and Control V. And I'll use this side here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's move on to the second print. So I want this one to sort of match this print because I want the customer to have the option to hang both of them together or separately. Let's go to the same package of flowers and let's go with this one. I want to add some flowers to opposite corners. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rotate this and just make it look the way I want it in this corner here. Okay, now this is my trick of making sure that I mirror this perfectly on the other side. Go to your toolbar and select the rectangle tool and just click on the artboard. This will pop up. So I'm going to make a rectangle the exact same size as the artboard, which is a 16 by 20. Now the default color is a white fill. Over here, you'll see how you can toggle through these and change them. So go to the fill color and select invisible. And these are the selection tools. So just click on the black one here and move it over to line up with the artboard. Now hit shift, click on the flowers, right click, make clipping mask. So now select the flowers and control C, 
control V so you can copy it over. And now I'm going to rotate it over this way and then drag it to the opposite corner. Now I'm going to add my quote. So go back to the toolbar and click on type tool and just select anywhere on the artboard. Now go to the selection tool so that you can make it larger or you can go up here and just change the size of your font. Now this is where you change the type of font you're using. Make sure you use a font that you have a commercial license to. I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to drag it just to make it look a little bit taller. And I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to make a script font out of this one. So let's make it larger. Now, if I want to align these horizontally, just click on both and go up here to align and click on the horizontal align center icon here. If I want to change the color of these fonts, all you have to do is select it and there's an eyedropper tool right here, or you can select eye on your keyboard. And what it will do is it will match the color of anything you select. So if I wanted it to be purple, if I wanted it to be, let's say pink over here. Okay. So now that I have both of my prints, I want to offer multiple sizes. So here's the easiest way that I can do it. So just like I created a rectangle around this one, I'm going to create another rectangle and you'll see in a second why again, I'll make this invisible and I'll line it up with this artboard. I want to create a copy of these two artboards and then change the size. Go back to the artboard tool here and let's start with this one. As you select this on your keyboard, hit Alt and Shift at the same time and drag it. Now I have a second artboard. Do the exact same thing with the other one. And now I want to change these to an 18 by 24 inch print. Up here, you'll see where you can change the width and the height. So let's change this to 18 and 24 okay, and same thing with this one 18 and 24. okay so now that we've resized it we have to change the size of the actual graphics so when you select this you'll see that your rectangle is also selected so what i like to do is i will drag it until that rectangle hits the edges of the artboard and that's just the way i personally do it i find it the easiest and quickest way so I'm going to do the same thing here. This one's going to be a little bit different because I have to bring the flowers up to the top as well. So I'm going to select this one, bring it up to the top. And at this one, I will drag it to the bottom. Now what I want to do is I want to create images that I can upload onto Etsy for my product listing. So I'm going to create a whole new artboard for this. Again, I'm going to go to the artboard tool and I'll bring it over here for this. I'm just going to make it a 20 by 20 image. So now I want to drag the mockups that I'm going to use. Again, these are from Creative Market. Let's use this one here to include both prints. And I'm just going to line it up with the artboard and I'll make it smaller. Now, just so I can see what it's going to look like, I'm going to crop it and just make it the size of my artboard. So go up here to crop image and just trim that part off. Okay. So now I'm going to copy this one here and paste it. And I'm just going to shrink it to this size. You know, let's do the same thing for the other one. Copy paste. Okay. So now I want people to know that this is a digital download. Just like my last tutorial, I'm going to add a circle over here. And I got that from the toolbar just over here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to type tool again and type in digital download. Larger, and it defaulted to the last font I used, so I'm just going to change that to a more bold font. Now for every listing, I create multiple images. So I'm just going to start a second artboard and I would show both of these prints individually. Again, this one is also from creative market. It's very similar and it just shows one print. I would just use this one and show how each one would be displayed separately. And again, I would add a digital download to this one as well. So this just gives you an idea. 
Now to save these images as JPEG files, so let's say I wanted to save this image here so that I can upload it to my product listing. I know that this is Artboard 5 based on this drop down here. So I'm gonna go to File, Export As, and to save it as a JPEG, I'm obviously going to change the file name, go to Use Artboards, go to Range, and I would change it to 5, and then that would save only that artboard. And then I would save these either as JPEG files or PDFs. It just depends on how you are offering it to the customer. It depends on your niche, your competitor. So just make sure you do your research on what file type you want to offer. But let's say I want to save it as a PDF. So let's go with this one here first. This is Artboard 1, and I know that this is a 16 by 20. So I would go to File, Save As, and I would go to PDF. And again, that's Artboard 1, and I would change it to the file name, and I would go dash 16 by 20 inch, so that when the customer purchases it, they know what size they're getting. After you've seen both tutorials on how to create printables in Illustrator and Canva, let me know in the comments which platform you're going to be using. If you're just getting started in the digital product world, make sure to grab my free guide on 20 digital product ideas that you can sell online. I'll link that for you in the description box down below. I'm also working on an Etsy digital product seller ebook that will help you get started on the right track and set you up for success. So keep an eye out for that within the next couple of weeks. There will be eight sections in there with worksheets that you have to fill out as you start and grow your shop. I'll have that available for you if you're interested on my brand new website. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. Next, make sure to check out my video on how to create printables in Canva and how to list an item on Etsy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.